So it's been a while since I did a product review. Then the people at Easy SMX sent me their new X10 controller to take a look at over the holiday period. And I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much and the writing on the box did seem too good. An Xbox style controller with mechanical micro switch face buttons, all analog sticks and triggers, and all means there is no physical contact between the moving parts of the trigger or analog, resulting in it being harder to wear out and they do not develop stick drift. On top of this, it has a six axis motion sensor, swappable magnetic faceplates, extra mappable back buttons, and all for 40 pounds? Well, I can safely say that after some use, and I'll get straight to the point here, I am pretty impressed and would not be disappointed if I had bought this myself. I immediately pulled out a standard Xbox One and an Elite 2 controller to compare quality and feel. But of course, an Elite controller is still a league above with its weightier solid feel and heftier price tag. Even the standard Xbox controller had rubberized hand grips, though I do know not all are rubberized, whereas the X10 feels more plastic, but not cheap plastic by any means. And then I noticed on their website, totally not after spending an hour trying to get it to work on PC, that the 6-axis motion controls only work on a Nintendo Switch, and the Switch Pro controller is probably a fairer comparison with a similar weight at an additional £10. Yet, I must admit, after a lot of use, I preferred the X10's more refined hall analog and trigger setup, and the micro switch face buttons have a satisfying but not too loud click to them and supposedly offer a faster response time, though that is hard for me to gauge at my crippling age. However, it was a breeze to get working on the switch by just toggling the settings switch on the back of the controller, far left being NS for Nintendo Switch, then BT for Bluetooth, then wired, and then using the dongle on the far right. Sadly though, the X10 doesn't seem to work on Xbox consoles. Hopefully they make a version for the Xbox in the future, as I think it would be a great alternative. As for PC, I just plugged the dongle into a USB, turned the controller on and started gaming. So not really much to add to that, other than the words a wise man once said, it just works. And a few things I'd already neglected to mention at the start of the video is that this is a wireless controller with a 1000 mAh battery, which should give you a fair few hours of playtime, and charges via a USB-C. There's also this weird slot around the C port that looks like it might be for a mobile phone mount, so maybe you could connect a phone with the Bluetooth and play that way. I wasn't able to clarify this, though Easy SMX do sell a controller phone mount on their site. A cool little feature is that we can swap out the face and hand grips of the controller with these magnetic replacements to customize the look of our X10 a little more. I believe the X10 comes with a white set in the bottom of the box, or at least mine did. As of the making of this review, there isn't much in the way of options for color, with silver and purple being the two options for the controller, plus the white magnetic replacements in the box. I would love to see some other options, but as always with these things, it depends on how well received the product is. As well as the two extra back paddle buttons for you to map to your pleasure, there is an additional two small buttons on the bottom of the controller. One is for a turbo setting with three modes, and the other is for five stages of vibration. Personally, the vibration feels better than that of the official Xbox controllers, but maybe that's down to the fact that the X10 is brand new out of the box. Regardless, it feels good and worked fine in games on both Switch and PC. As an added bonus, this also should work fine on the Valve Steam Deck. Sadly, I do not own one, so I couldn't test this myself. Maybe one day. So to summarize, for £40 you get a hell of a lot of controller that I really enjoyed using. And if you use code SEPTICFALCON on their website at checkout, you get an additional 12% off. To clarify, I am in no means partnered with them. They just sent this for my viewers to get a better deal. With that said, I do hope we get an additional Xbox compatible version in the near future, as I would use the X10 far more on that console. So yes, I do recommend the X10 from Easy SMX, who do have quite a few other peripherals on their website. So now that I've been pleasantly surprised by this one, I wonder how their other tech holds up. Let me know your thoughts on the Easy SMX X10 in the comment section below. Are you looking for a reasonably priced alternative to the Switch Pro controller, or just want a nice controller for casual PC gaming? All links can be found in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish to continue to see the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time.